okay uh, this is the last video uh, in this chapter and in this video I'm going to compare the binomial distribution and the sampling distribution theory so actually the binomial distribution is already a kind of sampling distribution the structure is pretty much the same so in this chapter I describe this way like in one experiment you observe n number of outcomes and you calculate their sample average and we wonder what is the probability distribution of that sample average that is how we uh, op how what we studied in this chapter but back in uh, chapter 5 about the binomial distribution in that chapter actually the structure was the same we assumed that there are n number of binary experiments anyhow we have n observations n outcomes and they are independent and at that time what we calculate is the number of success so if you throw coin 100 times then how many of them are heads or if you randomly choose answers in your homework that like on in 10 from 10 questions then what would be your grade in the end uh, structure is the same you try 10 questions at a time that is one experiment right one experiment and instead of calculating the average at that time we calculated the total uh, grade which is the sum of each questions uh, grade so x is 1 or 0 x was 1 if your answer was correct x is 0 if your answer is wrong and then then if you sum them that will be your grade but so it's summation but now in this chapter we, we considered average not the sum so average is just summation divided by n so actually these two are very closely related and the the difference is this the the theory normal distribution approximation we learned in this chapter is actually approximation it's not a not a perfect uh, distribution just approximately in the end uh, everything becomes normal but not exactly in reality because we cannot go to the limit on the other hand binomial distribution is an exact distribution it's not an approximation at the time I spent a lot of time to derive the exact probability so that's why I took a lot of time but now now once you understand the sampling distribution now actually you don't need to uh, calculate the binomial distribution but just approximate if you could approximate that to normal distribution everything would have been much easier <laughs> the calculation was, is should be much easier so here let me compare how much different they are uh, and another difference is again sum and average usually average is more common in uh, in practice in many applications so that's another reason why a normal distribution approximation is preferred the binomial distribution has more assumptions like the binary each outcome must be binary and like the the outcome final outcome must be a summation but the uh, normal distribution approximation theory is more like um, general so let's think about this example overbooking so um, <clears throat> in a flight there is a flight uh, but 400 people made reservations for the same flight but actually the flight has only 370 seats only 370 passengers can take that flight and as before we assume the probability of cancellation is 10% and cancellation is independent across 
reservations as before everything is the same and then in this case what is the probability of 30 or fewer reservations are cancelled in which case in this case the airline company is in trouble need to compensate some passengers who who had the reservation but cannot take the flight so overbooking causes some problem in this case what is that probability we are going to calculate this probability with two different methods first using the binomial distribution as we did in chapter chapter 5 and also we will calculate the same probability using normal distribution approximation let's do this so if you use binomial distribution it's, uh, then parameters are 400 reservations there are 400 reservations so remember number of cancellations why is the number of cancellations number of cancellations can be at most 400 so it is uh, the parameter is 400 and its probability is 10 percent and uh, I will not show you how to calculate this right uh, computer can do this and if you apply the complicated formula from the binomial distribution you will get 5.239 percent this is not an approximation of course uh, it's rounded of course but except for that there is no error except for the rounding error it is the exact probability right this is the true probability on the other hand now we will think about the same probability and approximate that probability to normal distribution to do that first we need sample average x bar and we know that the relationship between y and x bar so divide y by n so that we have x bar and when you do that you have to do the same thing on the counterpart of the inequality right to balance out the inequality so the other side becomes 30 over n so x bar the sample average must be less than 0 0.075 which means the average uh, cancellation rate cancellation rate I would interpret this as cancellation rate probability of cancellation uh, in among the reservations cancellation rate is smaller than 0.75 then you are in trouble the company is in trouble uh, so okay this is the target probability we need to calculate to do that first thing we have to do is to calculate the mean and the standard deviation for the single outcome in this case the mean and variance for the single outcome is for one reservation which is a binary distribution which is well known we know the for single outcome binary variable mean is p variance is p times 1 minus p so we can calculate those numbers we have done this we have found this results from chapter 5 right so then now you may use this mean and this standard deviation but the standard deviation need be divided by square root of n so when you consider 400 reservation at at a time so in now in this case uh, one experiment includes just 400 reservations or you can think one flight equals one experiment right previously one reservation was one experiment but now one flight equals one experiment which includes 400 reservations so n is 400 then the standard deviation becomes 0 0.015 now you use this mean and standard deviation for as the parameters for the normal distribution of the sample average 
then you get this standardization. After standardization, we calculate the probability that standard normal distribution is smaller than minus 1.667. If you use Excel or a calculator, it is 4.779%. Okay, then now let's compare. So we calculated the same probability, same probability that more passengers want to take the flight than the capacity. So the same probability was calculated differently because normal distribution is not the exact one. It is an approximation. So their difference can be viewed as uh, the approximation error when you use normal, distrib normal distribution. This error will decrease as the sample size increases. So if the flight was bigger, like let's say 40,000, then uh, the error must be much smaller. But in this example, it is 400. So uh, that causes this much 0.5 percent point difference, approximation error uh, as a result of approximation. Okay, so this is the end of chapter 7, and uh, in chapter 8, in the next chapter, we will start estimation. So as you can tell, this is the main chapter the, of this course. So look forward to it. Okay, have a nice week.